beautiful Torians, welcome to my channel. This is Baba Jolie here with your singles love reading for mid-May right through to mid-June 2022. I've already cleansed your space and have meditated on your cards. For those of you who are returning, welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for your wonderful likes, shares and subscribes. I am truly grateful for all your beautiful energy. Just a little reminder though, this is a general reading, not a one-to-one -one reading, just so you're aware. Also, please be mindful, scammers are about to pertain to be me and lots of other tarot readers. I do not do personal readings. I do not take your money, e-gifts, donations. I'm not on Facebook, WhatsApp, PayPal, Telegram or Patreon. I will never ask you for your credit card details and I'll never ask you for personal details either. So if anyone masquerading as me asks you for anything at all, please report them or ignore them. It is a scam, okay? Let us move straight on with your reading. I'm going to cleanse your space hourly, so please be mindful there's going to be three loud sounds. Let us begin. Okay, my beautiful Taurians, you should still be feeling that influence from the new moon in your sign. It was a new moon eclipse, and that is all about value, how you value yourself. Um, and that actually sort of translates into uh, how you feel about yourself in a relationship as well. So this is a singles love relationship reading. Um, I will also be doing a reading for um, people who are not interested in love. There's going to be a reading about uh, what your guides want you to know, as well as a career reading coming as well. But this is a singles love reading, so let us see what is coming towards you. Uh, thank you so much, Spirit Guides, Great Angels. Can you please guide my beautiful Taurians? What do they need to know? I'm going to get all of your cards first before I uh, give you uh, the energy that is coming out there. Thank you so much, Spirit Guides, Great Angels. Can you please guide my beautiful Taurians? Singles love reading, what do they need to know? What are they meant to see for their highest good? Okay, so definitely a new start available on the star, uh, on the cards there for you. You've got the stars, you've got uh, the owl, although the owl may not mean anything to you right now. Uh, it actually means uh, community, uh, sort of being in uh, the vicinity of people um, and finding someone to nest with, okay? It's a relationship perhaps that you've waited for for a long time. Um, thank you so much, Spirit Guides, Great Angels. Can you please guide my beautiful Taurians? Now, we do have a Six of Cups there, okay? And... Um, now, the Six of Cups is all about looking back. It's about nostalgia. It doesn't mean you want to be with a person from the past. It can mean that you um, you think back to a time where um, things... Uh, they want me to go one more, so I will. Uh, that you think back to a time where you were happiest. Okay, we've got a Three of Cups there as well. This indicates, because of Three of Cups in the community card right there, I feel like there is someone who is connected through a friend who um, will come into your energy as a new love but let's see uh, a little bit more detail thank you so much spirit guys great angels can you please guide my beautiful Taurians? we got the three of wands can you please guide uh, i like the fact that you got the three of wands there uh sort of covering the um six of cups which means you're looking outside um circumstances that you've already experienced so you're actually uh anticipating or observing waiting for uh, the right opportunity for you to meet somebody new. You've got a Wheel of Fortune. You're going to meet a destined relationship. Um, and we've also got a Prince of Pentacles here. So that means there is someone new coming on in who is going to invest in a future with you. So definitely there is movement forward in your love relationships, uh, but it's not all plain sailing. We do have the Temperance card twice in the same position. So that tends to mean that, you know, patience is a factor. And I mean, I know my beautiful Taurians, you've waited a long time, but uh, I feel like you are re-examining your priorities, recognizing what you do want in a relationship, what you don't, doing a lot of personal growth as you, uh, you know, I feel like it's not that you're waiting for the one. I feel like you are becoming the one to attract your counterpart. Okay, I feel like you're actually taking back the power. You've got the stars as your protagonist energy. This is all your protagonist energy here. You've got the stars, you've got the moon, and you've got the six of cups, and you've got the three of wands. So you may have been looking back, healing a situation. The stars are about healing. You may not want to be with a past person, but I feel like you're looking to the future with optimism, uh, with, uh, you know, I feel like you're looking far into the future about what you truly want. Uh, this is about faith. When you get the star card in the Lenormand deck, this is about faith hope, belief, knowing that you will partner up and that you will have happy memories with a new person in love. Because the Six of Cups 
is whilst you do think back to the past, it can also be about building happy memories and the universe sort of offering, bestowing a gift of love upon you, uh, as well as having uh, that Wheel of Fortune energy. I mean, with the Justice card, two major arcanas here indicates that you are going to get some good karma and there is a turning point in your love relationships. But the star energy here indicates your healing or that there's a new phase in your life that you're connecting to the universe. You, you've gained a lot of wisdom and I feel like there's a peace a serenity in um i just feel like yeah you've 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 made peace with the past you've made peace with yourself and with divine timing you may want to call in a love relationship but i feel like you're not really fast tracking it because the temperance card is in the resistance position so you've been on hold you've not been impatient you've been taking that long journey of life that we all have to take and wait for divine timing now, also, the star indicates inspiration. So I feel like you are actually being inspired to look at the past as something that you've experienced and can take with you as a lesson. And then Three of Wands tells me that you are looking further afield. You're looking at your options. You're getting out there. You're on the right path to success. There are, a, there are the way they're given to me is there is a opportunity uh, that is coming towards you. There is more than one, I feel, but I feel there's one that just grabs your attention. Um, so I feel this is you being inspired to look further afield outside your circumstances. I feel like you're going to be surprised um, because I feel like there's someone, there's someone here that you know already um, who, it's almost like a friend of a friend situation. Okay, I feel like there's someone, I mean, you could be working with a, a colleague or you could be with your friendship circle, your soul tribe, and it's someone they know that you may come into contact with that I feel um, there is feelings here. So uh, we, we, we will um, clarify as we move forward, but I feel like it's not someone you know, it's someone they know and they there is like an introduction in some way. So let me, we'll go deeper and find out what that is. Now the moon card is very interesting because this tells me that emotionally you're very intuitive, but a little bit defensive when it comes to love or opening up your emotions. Not everybody gets into your heart. Not everybody gets into your energetic sphere. You're very discerning about the company that you keep. Now the, t the moon card is all about the unseen coming to life and it can be about you processing a lot of emotions in order to transform the way that you feel about love to drop uh, your guards or to be able to allow love in now right now they're they're giving me a high piercing sound in my right ear uh, that tends to mean my, my guide is stepping a little bit too close into my energetic field um they're giving me a whisper they're giving me a whisper it's really interesting um i'm getting true chills with this as well so there's you're going to meet somebody, I mean, this person, they're just showing me someone whispering in someone's ear. So either you're going to meet somebody new, maybe you're, you're at a party or you're at an event and they lean in really close to uh, say something in your ear and it just brushes your ear and it's really electric. I don't know. I'm just getting this like sensual feeling that someone whispers in your ear and there's an instant connection between you and this person. I mean, you could be going out on a date with somebody and it's really noisy and they just lean in close and they whisk, they go to say something in your ear and there's just an electricity. This is how you know that this is a person. It's really odd. I, I mean, I'm scrying in the water and it's not often that I get images like that precise, um, but they're just showing me someone whispers in your ear and maybe that's an erogenous zone for you in particular. I'm not really sure. I mean, for someone to whisper in your ear, it's quite intimate anyway, but they're just showing me someone whisper in your ear. Okay. And watch out for that. So, I mean, it could be that you're at an event, as I said, and they lean in to just sort of say something to you. This person has got energetic, they've got feelings for you. So, but I feel like this is not somebody you know. So look out for that. Whether you are in a work situation and you're at an event or you're, uh, you know, um, it's how close they get to whisper in your ear. That There's an indication there. So I would look out for that. But the moon card tends to mean, uh, you know, an opportunity lies in the shadows. You're not even aware of it yet. And it's just waiting for the right perfect moment to illuminate. This is the card of illumination. This is the card of light, of hope, of trusting in the universe. There's an openness with this and a purity uh, that's coming on in. This is like a destined relationship. And I feel like out of the blue, um, the right opportunity, it's very close. They're showing me it's very close for you to nearly, you're, you're nearly about to meet this person, okay? So you, I feel like your weight, the temperance card, uh, it's in the resistance position, which tells me that actually um, 
the wait is nearly over. Your patience has be, is being rewarded. Uh, now we've also got the Six of Cups, so I'm going to pull a card on that Six of Cups. The Six of Cups is an energy of like. Um, it, it can be a gift, an offer coming on in, but it can also be about looking back and finding peace with the past. It is a reminder that we can look at the past and have sweet memories and think of old flames or good old days gone by, but we must take the memory and the lesson and leave everything else in the past because the past, I mean, there could be a return here. There could be someone who's just reached out to you from your past. It could be somebody, uh, a friend that it doesn't have to be an ex. It can be a friend that you haven't heard from in a while that reaches out to you. And, uh, you know, they, um, I mean, they either put you in a scenario to meet somebody new um, or they actually have feelings for you. So I'm just going to pull a card on that. I mean, Six of Cups can also connect to someone from your past reaching out, but this is something that's either already happened just recently or it's about to happen in the next couple of days because this energy is like in the present and my, my hands are going ice cold right now. So I feel like it's very imminent. Um, if it doesn't happen in the next couple of days that a person from your past, as in your ex, reaches out, this is actually um, indicating that the universe is coming in bestowing a gift. So I just want to um, just want to clarify that for you. Thank you so much, Spirit Guides, Great Angels. Can you please guide me regarding the Six of Cups? What are they meant to see regarding the Six of Cups? Nine of Pentacles in the reverse, okay? Um, now, this could have been... Um, how would you like to see? Thank you so much. Yeah, I was going to say this is someone who is jealous. They feel like you're moving on. Um, the Nine of Pentacles in the reverse can be someone who is envious of you or doesn't like the fact that you're so independent. And we got the Devil card here as well. I mean, if it's an X with the Five of Swords there, this is someone who may have played mind games with you. I mean, I feel like this person, um, you either caught them doing something or they've put you all up in your head. I feel like this person is bonded to you, but I feel like you're trying to release yourself or heal yourself from the situation. So if this is someone that you feel you don't want to connect to and they surprise you by popping up in your world, I mean, you know what to do. You, you all have free will, um, but there is someone from your past popping up. Okay, someone that you feel may have been a toxic situation or maybe someone who is obsessed with you or you in the past were obsessed with this person. But I feel like um, there was a setback in this connection and I feel like this person may want to reach out and talk about the good old days or the bad old days, depending. Uh, but I feel with this Three of Wands, it tells me that you're looking further afield. You're not really wanting to go into the past. You're not really wanting to connect to the past. So I'm gonna leave that there, okay? Um, the Three of Wands is about looking forward. It is about looking at opportunity. And there is an, an abundance of opportunities coming towards you that's really going to spark your attention. Uh, you know, the Three of Wands tends to, uh, indicate on like the major, sorry, on the minor arcanas in the right away to row. There's normally a figure that is standing there uh, with the three of wands looking out at uh, opportunity or, you know, uh, sort of anticipating the next uh, part of their adventure. So I feel like you are on the right track by looking forward. Uh, you're looking at opportunities that are ahead of you, not in the past, okay? But you may process some things, emotions, uh, from the past in order to release them, especially with that uh, full moon eclipse in Scorpio uh, that occurs on the 16th of May. That's all about letting go. And I feel like you've done a lot of letting go anyway, my beautiful Taurians. You're not, you don't tend to be the sign that really dwells in the past or wanting someone from your past. You tend to move forward um, when you feel like you're completely done, okay? So that three of wands tells me that even though there's been a delay, you are hopeful or you are anticipating a new person to come into your world, okay? You're trying to focus on your passions, your healing, uh, but also I feel like you're really positively looking towards the future, knowing that there is someone who is coming on in for you, okay? Uh, I feel like uh, for, for those of you who've had a real test when it comes to love, and you may have lost your motivation or your drive, and uh, you, know, you may have even asked yourself in the past, Am I being really unrealistic with my expectations for love? Because you may have felt like you've always been the person who overgave or invested in a relationship and people did not invest in the same way. You are not having unrealistic expectations. You're actually um, going to meet the person who is, it's reciprocal behavior. We got the justice card here, which indicates there is a, a, a relationship that vibes on the same frequency coming on in for you and that you'll be in no doubt about it being equal. This person is give and take. 
the new person that's coming on in okay uh, also we've got number 12 there hangman energy with that card but we've got the owls so the birds uh, in the um, lenormand deck this is all about community friends and people coming together so uh, with the emperor there i feel like through friends there is someone that you meet who is a divine counterpart okay someone i feel like it's and I mean, it may even be a friend who sets you up on a date or tries to set you up with somebody, but I feel like you come, if it's not orchestrated in that way, I feel like you come into contact with someone through friends, okay? Or within a community event. There's definitely some gathering here, uh, some sort of event that occurs and you meet through that, okay? And you, when you meet this person, there is an energy of, you've known this person for a long time and I feel like you and this person actually look to the for look forward to the future and you want to settle down with each other. There's a nesting energy with this card. Um, I feel like it feels comfortable. There's something, I mean, there was a lot of passion in this new connection, but it just feels comfortable. It just feels right. It feels organic. Even if you meet through a friend and they've tried to set you up, it's like, it's like you've known this person forever. Okay, I just get this really homely kind of feeling. It's really wonderful, but it's also sensual, kind, um, passionate, all of those things. And I feel, yeah, it's through some sort of event or, or gathering. Um, I don't want to say it's an invitation because I don't feel the invitation energy. I feel like it's a, you know, a, a communal thing where people come together and I do apologize, so there's that motorcycle. It's literally like every half an hour now, this person just rides up and down this road for no reason. I do apologize for the sound. Um, they obviously like the sound of that motorcycle. Um, the Temperance card is, uh, of course, a card of patience, uh, but also it is about re-examining your priorities. So it's not really about you just sitting there twiddling your thumbs waiting for love. I feel like you've rejuvenated your energy. You're tempering uh, your... Um, how can I put that? You're tempering your focus on love is what I feel. You know, I feel like you've been focused on other things, creating your destiny, uh, you know, being an entrepreneur or setting up your own business or perhaps uh, bossing up within your um, work sector. I feel like you've got your eye on other goals. You're not really focusing 100% on love. You want to find it, but I feel like it's not been an immediate focus for you. With the temperance card, I feel like there's been moments of anxiety, but you're trying to trust your heart and I feel there's going to be a peace of mind that comes when you meet this person um, is this this sort of person who comes on in for you um, and I'm gonna see when because I feel like this this reading is until mid-june okay and I feel like it's just after mid-june where um, you and this person sort of take things a little bit more there's a little bit more curiosity about the the connection a little bit more investment um, so I'll see if they can give me a date. They'll give me actually number 24, 24. So this could be the 24th of June. Um, I really feel it's more, rather than 24th of May, I feel like it's more June. Uh, where, because they're showing me the, the night, the, sorry, the Prince of Pentacles uh, and the 24th of June. That's an offer, okay? So I feel like um, 24th of June is definitely like an end point you've already met this person by then okay um now also the the temperance card is a card of recognizing that you're actually aligning yourself with what you want so for example you're like mixing things up a little bit you're having the maturity to say these are the things I want in a relationship. These are the things I certainly do not want in a relationship because you've learned a lot in the past. And I feel like you're not entertaining anyone who does not meet those requirements. It's not that you're being snobby or aloof or anything like that. I feel like you know or being very uh, clear on what you want with the universe. And if uh, you... If these needs are not being met, I feel like you're not even investing in a, a relationship with someone unless you feel... Um, they have these uh, traits. I wanna say traits, because I feel like someone's written a list. They're showing me someone writing a list right now. So if that's you, if you did it, perhaps you did like a burning ritual or a, a list or something like that at the beginning of the year. Um, 
or maybe even for a full moon uh, festival of some sort. Um, and they're just showing me that um, you're sticking to that list and the universe is going to deliver whatever it is you have on that list, okay? Um, also, yeah, I feel like you're not willing you're not willing to get in a relationship with anyone who's just dipping a toe into getting to know you or um, I feel like you're all in or you're nothing. That's what I'm feeling, Taurus, with this. Um, now, the Emperor card energy tells me that there is a, a divine counterpart um, that uh, you are calling in but also that you are maturing in what you want. Some of the things that you want now are not the things that you wanted when you were younger. Um, I do feel like this is a divine counterpart energy. This is about um, wanting someone that you can respect, someone who plans for the future, someone that you can trust and settle down with, someone who has got their SHIT together, right? Uh, the emperor uh, energy is also, um, I feel like you're sick of leading. That's what they're giving me. That you're tired of having to always try and initiate or try and save a relationship or put all the effort in. You want someone who leads a little bit more or at least gives you like something to go on where uh, there's action because the emperor is all about action taking. Um, but I feel like with the emperor this, being in this position, it's almost like you've not really been thinking or planning love or you've been avoiding it. In a, in a way, uh, you've been like focusing on career or ambition. You've been like keeping yourself to yourself for a while. And I feel now this is the challenge to get out into the community because this is the challenge position. This is the resistance position. We have the community card there. We got the temperance card. So whilst it may feel uncomfortable to get out there again, you're not actually getting out there to date. I feel like you're getting out in the community or you're getting out to experience life again. That's what I feel with this. And I feel that's where you meet your divine counterpart. Okay. Um, I feel like Now, for some of you, you're um, perhaps wanting to settle down and have a family, that sort of thing, um, if you can or if you want to. Uh, that's definitely on the cards for you if you're looking for that. Uh, but I, I do feel like you've perhaps dealt with people in the past who've had either an ego or been immature. They've not wanted the same things that you wanted. They may have even tried to control you, my beautiful Torians. You're leaving all that in the past. Okay, I feel like you've learned lessons in that area and you notice the red flags. This person coming on in is someone you can respect, someone who actually um, you know, takes the initiative to pursue you as much as you pursue them. This is someone who's protective of love who's coming on in as well. This is someone, uh, I feel like you have guarded your heart a little bit, but I feel like you're going to open your heart now. You're opening your heart chakra because the emperor is in this position, which means uh, you're going to be a little bit more emotive or a little bit more open to receiving love than than usual even though you've been a bit guarded for a while and not been focusing on love when it walks in i feel like you're you, you you're opening they're showing me a lotus flower right now it's like blooming it's amazing how we flourish when we meet the right person is what they're showing me and you're going to flourish because you're about to meet the right person now the this is the outcome position and we've got number 34 which is uh of course when you reduce it three plus four is the chariot card movement forward and it's also the goldfish which means abundance okay a wish being fulfilled in some way so I feel like this is really a golden opportunity for you to meet somebody new and um, luck is on your side finally when it comes to love. To get the card of abundance in the Lenormand deck plus the Wheel of Fortune, it tells me that the universe is stepping in to uh, create a match, you and another person. So I feel a fated relationship is coming on in. This is a turning point in your love relationships and I feel like you're moving forward, overcoming any obstacles or bumps or blockages that you've occurred, uh, incurred when it comes to love um, and I feel like you are moving forward. The full card tells me there's a leap of faith here. Also, it, it really tells me that um, there's a lot of potential here for you to have a new beginning with someone, to start that journey of love and life and adventure with somebody new. This is also a playful spirit. So I feel like you're actually going to meet someone who uh, doesn't have baggage, which is unusual when, uh, you know, as we grow older, we all sort of get baggage along the way. I feel like this is someone that you're gonna have a lot of fun with. This is someone who, um, both of you take each step 
as it comes, each day as it comes, and you just deepen your connection. Also, I feel like it's someone who sparks your curiosity right from the get-go. And this person's very sensual. And they keep giving me this, I mean, I keep getting goosebumps. It's a wonderful feeling. Um, someone just leaning in and whispering in your ear. They keep giving it to me to the point where I'm like, hot damn, this person's chemistry is off the charts with yours. So you're gonna really enjoy that. I mean, as I said, I keep getting these chills with it um, and that's you're going to get a little shiver they're showing me a little shiver when this person does that so uh watch out for that okay that's kind of an indication from spirit that this person is the one because you may be wondering how will i know uh how can i trust my intuition because the moon card there is about intuition tr you know trying to work out how to um, overcome fears in order to become aware of all the answers within you you know because fear can get in the way of us just knowing that we're with the right person or knowing that we're not, okay? The full card is you taking that leap of faith, jumping all in, taking a chance on a new adventure, and it's going to be totally worth it, okay? Now this person may have strong Aries in their chart, could be a lot of Sagittarian energy as well, a lot of fire energy going on here, but also could be a little bit of Cancerian, so someone who's emotionally has a lot of depth. Um, so I do feel like uh, there's uh, a lot of, I mean, they could have a little bit of earth in their, their chart as well, but I feel like they've got a lot of fire in their chart. Um, now we've got the Prince of Pentacles. So the Prince of Pentacles, of course, is uh, someone who invests, someone who uh, makes an effort to pursue you. Uh, we got the Three of Cups. I feel like this person even tries to find out about you through your friends, because I feel like they're on the outside or outsides of your friendship circle but they, they there's a common friend there's or a common a, maybe even a colleague uh, there's someone that you both know and I feel like this person tries to find out even a little bit more about you through friends or through a colleague or through somebody who knows you um, but they actually pursue you as well but they're so into you that they want to know a little bit more about you is what I'm getting uh, as you can see we've got like a some sort of frequency uh, emitter there uh, this person is matching your frequency and as you can see there this horse represents uh, loyalty uh, stability uh, this relationship going somewhere and it's all on these tree stumps as well and a contract so I feel like this is a you know a contracted relationship a uh, soul contract relationship that is built on stability uh, now also if you know art or sculpture Horses, um, when they are depicted in a certain way, they actually represent something important. Um, and it, it normally means uh, how a, a person um, sort of approaches difficult situations. And they're showing me that this person has a lot of, they're giving me a word, um, they're giving me the word valor. So this is someone who would fight for the union or who would uh, back you up, who respects you. Someone who's got your back, that's what I feel. Someone who is... Um, Someone who's really good to be with, as in, um, now, don't take this the wrong way, my beautiful Torians. Don't shoot the messenger when I say this. It's not that they're uh, protective because they feel like you cannot protect yourself. I feel like it's someone who backs you up, you know, like a partner in crime, you know, that sort of energy where they're there for you no matter what. But they're also willing to call you out on your BS as much as you are willing to call them out on theirs. Life is all about ups and downs and no relationship is truly like um, all unicorns and rainbows. We all know that. But I feel like this is someone who vibes on your frequency and um, they're actually showing me, they're asking me to look closer at that. Wow, I can't even see. Okay. So they're giving me two things. They're giving me, um, on the stirrups of the horse, they're giving me like this three-legged symbol, which it is to move forward. They will move this forward. This They will move this uh, relationship forward. Uh, I feel like they're very uh, curious about you, very warm, very dependable, and they want to get to know you. They want to move this forward, this relationship, because they know that they've met the one. They're going to come in with an offer, okay? Now this person, um, I have to say that their youthful spirit, they seem like younger uh, than they are. So they may look younger than they are, but they're actually very mature and they know what they want, this person. Um, also, they're showing me a Rubik's Cube. Now, they show me a Rubik's Cube in the water right now. So either this person, uh, there's a conversation about a Rubik's Cube, or maybe you are actually uh, doing a Rubik's Cube as you are listening to this. For those of you who are too young to know what a Rubik's Cube is, please look it up online. Um, but 
I feel like this person, the way that they're showing me the energy, I feel like this person wants to work you out. They want to invest the time to get to know you better just to see if you're the right fit. And I feel like you want to do the same thing. So I feel both of you are actually, uh, you challenge each other in the right way and you want to get to know each other uh, in the right way as well. Uh, there's a lot of love here. They are really highlighting this becoming a heart. So to me right now, it's really illuminated as it's, you know, I feel like it's a strong investment. Um, now, I also feel that um, Hmm, okay. I'm gonna pull a quick card on that energy. Thank you so much, Spirit Guys Going Angels. Can you please guide justice in the reverse? I I just got an energy all of a sudden that this person also knows someone from your past. And the justice in the reverse. Um Yeah, I feel like this is someone who, someone who, I, I feel like they know someone who you had a missed opportunity with. Yeah, they're showing me, yeah. Um, and so either they know an ex, perhaps, of yours, or they know someone, um, it's a really random occurrence. Uh, I feel like this person doesn't even, is not even aware that they know this, that this person knows you. OK, I feel like it's going to be a conversation that comes up uh, many, many months into the relationship um, that this person knows someone you either used to date or that you had a crush on um, and it didn't become a relationship or uh, they let you go. OK, so there's something about that. That's very, very, very precise, but that's coming through. Uh, so I just want you to be aware with that justice card in the reverse. Um, I feel like this person's not even aware of it. Yeah, so uh, with the Nine of Cups. I feel like this person is everything you've wished for with that Nine of Cups. And if you've been feeling really unfulfilled and that it's not fair, uh, things have not been fair when it comes to love, they're indicating here that this person is the one, okay? All the other opportunities were not rewarding or not emotionally fulfilling because this is the, the jackpot person, okay? Um, so... That's what they're indicating there. Uh, now we've also got a three of cups. Three of cups is celebration. You've got double three here and the temperance twice. So you're starting to see um, sort of double cards and double meanings, synchronicities, coincidences, meaningful coincidences coming up in your world and in your reading, which means there is radical change going on here as well. Um, now, uh, they're actually showing me, and this song has come up before as well, uh, they're showing me doves, two white doves, okay, uh, which is about peace, um, of course, and um, two doves. So I don't know what that means. I mean, maybe when you meet this person, you'll see two doves, um, but they're also giving me a song. Uh, it's really odd the way they're giving it to me. Uh, they're giving me that Prince song, um, When Doves Cry, but they're actually playing it backwards. It's so weird playing it backwards um so it's it's almost like i mean that song is about this is don't cry uh so so i that song is about i think um now sh you can shoot the messenger on this one if i get it wrong because uh, i'm not 100 percent on this so i pr probably shouldn't comment uh but um i think the lyrics of that song is because it's going backwards so it's really hard to work it out it's more that my memory is coming into play now uh, just so you're aware um i th think that's about um a mother and a father and uh, this must be a child sort of um watching a mother and father be so unhappy so and it's being rewound so it's almost like either this person had a similar upbringing than you and has done a lot of processing it's like undoing the past undoing um past influences so if you for example uh, had a very um difficult upbringing and you witnessed uh, your guardians or your parents being unhappy or separated or all of those things it can mean that they that sort of process that you went through 
influence the way that you receive love. But they're showing, they're giving me the song in reverse, which has never happened ever in the time that I've ever done a reading. So I feel like this is about you undoing and opening yourself up to love. I feel like you're blooming, you're blossoming, and you're about to meet this person. Three Cups is a celebration. It basically means, uh, you know, it's also a community card, people sharing, coming together uh, to share enjoyment. And I feel like th this is where you meet this person uh, at a community event or uh, at some sort of uh, event that your soul tribe go to. I don't feel like it's an invitation, though. I feel like it's something you're going to. I mean, it could literally be like a concert or something because we had that song come out. I mean, I can't imagine why a Prince song rewinded or going in reverse would resonate with you. I'm trying to work it out. If I can't work it out, I'll try and give you my best guess, which is what that was. Um, but the Three Cups indicates your friends are going to really celebrate this person. They really like this person. They feel like you're a match and so do you, okay? I do feel like there is a, a an excited sort of like, yes, this is it. Um, the Three Cups is also about enjoying uh, not just community, but also having a common goal and a friendship. So I feel like you and this new person will have a common goal. Either you work within the same sector or you have the same interests. And I feel like you build a friendship together as well first, which is really exciting. And I feel, um, I feel like, there is an energy, they show me a camera. They just give me this energy of like snapshot. And it could be that you're building happy memories or that this person uh, has interest in photography or they take a lot of photos of you or something like that. Not in a creepy way, I just wanna say that. Um, but they're just showing me a camera. So it, maybe it, this is an event there where there's a camera as well flashing at you and you're like, oh, you know, there's gonna be a photo, a snapshot of you and this person taken somewhere. I mean, that could be anywhere, like in the future, if you're in a relationship, but I feel like at the beginning, okay? Uh, uh, yeah, just to let you know. Now we got the justice card, and the justice card is all about you getting justice, but also about making adjustments to have a fair and equal relationship. And the justice card is also about making a decision. It can mean that you are, uh, you need to make a decision about um, whether you want to go to this event or not, or uh, perhaps because we have the, the six of cups, if someone is coming back into your world, it can mean that you need to make a decision about whether you cut the past finally free and you embrace the new or whether you want to return to the past. I mean, everything is showing me that you're looking forward and you're releasing the past, but because the Six of Cups has shown up there and we did have the devil come out there as well, as someone is obsessed with you or bonded with you in some way, it seems that they're coming back into your energetic field or you're, they're thinking about you in some way. I feel like you're making a decision uh, that is right for you, okay? I feel like you are finding the balance of what you want and I feel like you're finally get, getting what you truly deserve when it comes to love. The Justice card is about finding what you truly deserve. It is a win-win situation, a cause and effect. So it basically says if you're looking for love and you've been house a house body for a while and you've not been actually out there on the internet seeking love, then chances are you're going to find it difficult to let the universe put you in a situation to find love. So you have to invest in a way where you get yourself into some sort of scenario where you are meeting someone. Okay, so I do feel like there's some sort of community events that you will go to um, or a gathering that your friends have orchestrated or just agreed to go to and a friend of a friend also attends that and there is a romantic frisson. The Wheel of Fortune tells me, as I said, at grassroots, it is about a turning point in your relationships. Uh, you've been going through a cycle and now it's changing for the better. And I feel that this is good luck out of nowhere. This is a destined relationship. I feel like there's a lucky break. I feel like you've waited for a long time and then all of a sudden there's love right in front of you. And you're like, I thought this day would never come, but here it is. Um, the Wheel of Fortune tells me also that this is destiny. This, your destiny becomes obvious. You see your future in this person's eyes. You see your future with this person and they see their future with you. This is something that is balanced and reciprocated, okay? Um, I'm gonna pull another card to see if there's anything more Spirit would like to uh, show me. Thank you so much, Spirit Guides, Guide Angels. Anything more my beautiful Torians need to know before I close the reading? The full card in the reverse, which is uh, you will be unprepared for this, but a leap of faith is required. You may feel a little bit like um, nervous 
to take that leap of faith or unprepared to take it, but I feel that is what you must do in order to embrace it. The Four of Swords in reverse tells me, get ready for action. You know, you may have been, um, you know, on your own in a solitary energy for a while, maybe even recovering from something. You may have even retreated from looking for love for a while. Uh, but now they're showing me it's the time to get out there. Peacock yourself because love is about to knock on your door. Thank you so much, Spirit Guys, Going Angels. The Devil card in the reverse. You're releasing any bonds from the past, any toxic situations. The Justice card. I mean, the Four of Cups. The Four of Cups does say that you may have been emotionally unfulfilled in past situations. There may even be trust issues from those, but I feel like you're letting those go and there's a new opportunity that's coming on in here. Um, something that you're not even aware of. They want me to go one more, so I will. Um, and this is the one, the Lover's card. I'm so glad that my guides actually said they want me to go one more because they gave, gave me the Lover's card. They always give me indication of what I need to do in the readings so that they can transmute their message to you through me, okay? Um, so we've got that Devil card. It's in the reverse. You're ending a toxic cycle or you're ending uh, an oppressive cycle when it comes to love. You're opening yourself up. You're going to be vulnerable with the right person. And uh, the Justice card in the reverse indicates, you know, that um, there may have been a lack of accountability in past situations, or you may even feel like um, there may even be a point in your life where you feel like you don't have time to make space or adjust to let this person in, but a leap of faith is required. They're indicating here you're letting go of something. Uh, I mean, there may have even been trust issues. They keep coming up with this. There may have even been trust issues. How can I trust that this is the person? How can I trust that um, this is the one? Um, because that justice card is like, it's in the reverse. So there's an energy of mistrust. Um, or maybe even, I mean, for some of you, you may actually be going through a divorce. The Justice card in reverse can be a, a, about divorce or a separation. Uh, maybe you need to go through some sort of legalities before you decide to look for new love. If that's you, uh, I feel like in divine timing, I feel like you're still going to meet this person, but you may just like take it slow until such time as you are, uh, you know, the bonds are broken and you're free. The contract you have with another person is uh, annulled, that sort of thing, or, you know, the divorce comes through. So again, that's not going to resonate for everyone. The Five of Cups tells me that you're letting go of something. Um, and the Four of Cups is basically saying this was, things were not emotionally fulfilling, or you're feeling fed up with the options that have been sort of in your life right now. In the universe, as you can see, there's a cup popping out of the cloud. So it means that it's been a difficult time for you, but don't give up. The universe is bestowing a gift, a surprise. The Wheel of Fortune tends to be like a surprise. Out of nowhere, there is an intervention and the universe brings you in a love that is bigger, if you even measure the cups, they're bigger, uh, and more emotionally fulfilling than ever before. And the Five of Cups basically says, you can't see it yet, but there is a love that is on offer here, a soulmate connection. Those Two of Cups are right behind this figure who is looking at the past. And remember, you got the Six of Cups there. So it's like, don't be looking at your shoes. Don't be looking at the past. Uh, only take the message of, uh, and the lesson from the past. But there is a new love coming on in here that is vibing at your frequency. It is matching a union that you're looking for, but you just cannot see it yet. Okay, so um, and when you do actually, uh, it's almost like they're showing me this figure. Wow, I've never seen that before. They've in the water right now, they're showing me this figure and they've actually moved. The figure actually moved and turned around and looked at these cups. And then these cups represent the lover's card. So I feel like you're discovering a new love, a soulmate. Okay, I mean, the lover's card is the last card. So it also does tell me that you have a choice when it comes to love. So you may entertain thinking about you know, being with someone from the past. There's going to be a lot of Torians out there that's like, yeah, I want to be with the person in the past. There's going to be other Torians out there that like, no, that's not how I'm vibing. I want new only. This is a new love reading. So I'm going to assume that, um, you know, this is the new love that you decide. Uh, I feel like it is. The energy tells me that you're looking uh, further afield. I mean, the Three of Wands tells me that you're looking into the future. You're looking for somebody new. And the Lover's card indicates it's a soulmate connection. It's divinely guided. It is destiny. To have these cards showing up in your outcome energy, there's a, an, there's a match here for you, a love relationship that is true blue. Um, now, 
just seeing if they can give me anything more. I mean, they're only just giving me that number, 24. 24, that just keeps coming up, 24. So either 24 is the date in June uh, that you and this person start to be a bit more curious about something deeper with each other. I feel like you meet them before the 24th, but I feel like you getting a little bit deeper with this person occurs right about the 24th of June, okay? So I'll leave it there. I'm just going to get some final cards before we close your reading. Thank you so much for it, guys, Garden Angels. What do my beautiful Taurians need to know? Can you please guide them for their highest good? What are they meant to see? We've got dreams, unravel, navigate, recall. Thank you so much for it, guys, Garden Angels. Now they want one more. Thank you. Okay. So we've got dreams. When you look deeper meanings within dreams... I'll start again. When you look for the deeper meanings within dreams, you uncover a part of yourself, your psyche. Information about yourself and others may be uncovered that goes ignored in waking life. Unravel, navigate, recall. It's number 42 when you reduce it. It's 24. Wow. Sorry. Uh, sorry. I just, that's not what I was meant to say. Um, I was actually meant to say when you reduce it, four plus two is six, but they said reverse it. My guys, you can't, unfortunately, you can't hear my guys. And they said, Rever reverse it, and it's 24, the number of the date that they're giving me. So, I mean, there's a little number, numerical synchronicity there for you as well. Uh, but uh, when you reduce it, 2 plus 4 is 6, the number of the lover's card, the soulmate energy. So pay close attention to your dreams. I mean, you may dream about this person, but I feel like more you dream about the event that you go to or the circumstances where you meet this person. There's something in your dream, so pay close attention. Uh, we've got number 17, Sage. Now, number 17 is a star energy. So um, it says, Sage your home and personal space regularly to expel any negative energies and to promote mental clarity. Cleanse, purify, clear. But also that connects to your mind. Being clear about what you want sort of purifying your energy, making sure that anybody from your past that has a hold on you, that you feel it is difficult to get past, um, then you need to, you know, be processing those emotions and letting them go. If you really want to be with someone in the past, then of course, you can heal it with them, that person, but um, that's not what this reading was about. So uh, I didn't focus on that energy. That will be, I'll leave that for another reading in the next couple of weeks. And also we got 3D, mundane. Reality, ego, routine. Most of us have to take part in the humdrum of life and day-to-day -day tasks can sometimes consume us. Remember that spirituality can be integrated into your everyday, even the smallest of things like your morning cup of tea. So that's all about visualization, but I also feel like you built a sort of packed schedule where sometimes, especially with that emperor energy as well, you found it difficult to make space for love. You've been focusing on a lot of other things, have a lot of responsibilities. So you may have even taken yourself out of the dating game for a while to focus on those things. But now's the time to get out there, I feel, with those community cards that have come through, to get out there, enjoy yourself with friends. And through that process, I feel like you meet somebody new, okay? Um, just going to get a drink it before we close. Thank you so much. We got the elephant. So the elephant is a beautiful energy. It's all about empathy. It's all about being strong. And it's about removing obstacles from the path and moving forward. Also, oh my gosh, they said the ear, the ear. This is crazy. I really hope you can see this. I'm going to put it as close as I can. On that elephant's ear is a heart. There's something about this new person that whispers in your ear. And it is love and intense and passion and... The chemistry is off the charts. I really hope you can see that heart on there, okay? So again, there's something about the ear. Ooh, I'm getting the chills again. You know, it's almost like I want to meet a person who just whispers in my ear too, like that. It's so crazy. I love it. Uh, electric. Um, so I do feel like there's an electric connection. You will know who this person is instantly. And you're removing the blockages to allow yourself to open your heart to this love because you deserve it, okay? Uh, they want me to put this on a lover's card. There may even be... Um, a, uh, okay, thank you so much, I'm truly grateful. Uh, they're actually showing me there may even be a conversation about elephants or this person has uh, visited somewhere like an elephant sanctuary or you did and you'll have that conversation. I mean, some of you may actually be trying to book a vacation or something like that to visit an elephant sanctuary or there's something about elephants, okay? Um, now, 
Also, they just said elephants never forget. So I feel like that's also about learning the lessons from the past. Never forget about those lessons, but to move forward. Okay, so I'll leave it there. I hope something resonates in that reading for you, my beautiful Taurians. If it does, please like or subscribe to my channel. Completely free for you. All you have to do is press a little bell that lets you know when I update my next message. It lets me know that you resonate with the reading, which is actually very important for me too. Okay, thank you so much, my beautiful Taurians. Love and light.